Hi, I'm April. I am a singer, songwriter, and music teacher, and today we're going to be talking about how to play vocal warm-ups on the guitar. When I first started teaching voice lessons, I was not super proficient with the piano, which meant that I had to start teaching voice lessons using the guitar as like the primary harmonic instrument in the lesson. And for the most part that was fine because my guitar playing was okay, I felt pretty comfortable with all of it. But the issue that kind of came along with it was that I didn't feel super confident because I had literally never met a voice teacher who used the guitar in lessons. I had only ever had piano players as voice teachers and choral directors and any of those other things. So I felt really nervous about all of that and I basically had to just go into it with the knowledge that I was going to have to learn everything that my voice teachers had ever done on the piano, just on the guitar. And obviously now I do play the piano and I use it in a lot of the voice lessons that I teach. However, I do find that I actually gravitate toward the guitar in a lot of the voice lessons that I teach. In general, it's a really fun instrument to play and it is portable, so when you're teaching a lesson at a student's house who maybe doesn't have a piano or a keyboard, the guitar is great. It's also great for students who play the guitar themselves or want to play guitar. You can incorporate that into the lesson, like how to sing and play at the same time. So with all of that said, if you are a voice student and want to be able to accompany yourself but don't play the piano, or if you are a teacher yourself and want to be able to accompany people with the guitar, this is your moment. So we're going to start with an A major scale, which is going to start with our middle finger on the fifth fret. And we're going to line each of our fingers up with a specific fret. So every time that we use that finger, it is going to be in the fret that it's hovering over. So your first finger should be over the fourth, your second finger should be over the fifth, third finger goes over the sixth, and fourth finger goes over the seventh. So again, we start with that second finger on the fifth fret. Then we're gonna play our pinky, which is gonna be on the seventh fret. Then we're gonna go to the next string. First finger, second finger, fourth finger. Then we go to our next string again. Play first finger, third finger, and then finish it with the fourth finger. So that'll look like this. Once you know that major scale, you can just move it all up and down the fretboard, which means that you can play Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Unless you play in fixed Do, but I don't know why you would do that to yourself. So as you can see, it's already a little bit easier than playing the same thing on the piano because you no longer have to think about changing the shape every single time you play a new chord. Instead, all you're doing is just sliding the same exact shape up and down the neck. So what happens if I start that same major scale, but then I stop halfway through and reverse it? Do, re, mi, fa, sol. My hair is in my face. Do, re, mi, fa, sol. Fa, mi, re, do. Now if I want to keep this pattern going to make it like a real vocal warm-up, all I have to do is play the note I just played and then shift it either up or down. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, fa, mi, re, do. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, fa, mi, re, do. And then I can keep going down. Once I hit this section of the guitar, you're gonna play do, re, but then you see that there's no fret here. So you're just gonna play it open. Mi, and then finish the pattern. So do, re, mi, fa, sol, fa, mi, re, do. And then same deal goes if you wanna go the opposite direction. You just start shifting back up this way. You can also do the same pattern with a higher part of your voice by either changing up the octave by just going along with the lowered octave, or you can start on your B string. So if I wanted to play from here, I could do Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. Now obviously the patterns aren't going to sound exactly the same if you start on the higher strings, but that pattern in particular does totally work over here, so you can absolutely use it that way. If I wanted to do a different pattern, I could start on the sol of that scale and do sol, fa, mi, re, do. Sol, fa, mi, re, do. 
That same pattern also works on the higher strings. So if I wanted to do so fa, mi, re, do, that would also totally work. Now you can also play every other note and do. Now if I skip every other note, I can do do, mi, sol, mi, do and that totally works too. So at that point, you can just take whatever vocal warm-up you grew up knowing and loving, and you can translate it to the guitar by just using that major scale, or potentially learning a minor scale and learning a minor vocal warm-up, which is also super valid, and then just changing the order that those notes happen in order to match the thing you're used to. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms, I cried. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, let me know in the comments, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and ring that little bell if you want to be notified the next time I post.